Well, earlier when you were talking and of course with a commentary coming from former minority leader supporting this argument that the NDC or what the speaker did is right. My brother, who is the only lawyer on this platform <laughs> and the rest of us are Sudanese pirates, made reference to Article 99 and he misled the whole country. My, uh, he touched on it. But Article 99 is talking about whether a person has been validly elected as a member of parliament or not. What we had in parliament yesterday has nothing to do with whether a CMA and other three were validly elected. It has nothing to do with that. So the lawyer here is misleading all of us. We, the pirates, are rather on the right path. Now, when you hear, I was saying that because people are saying that it is in the future, then it will mean that these people intended that in the ninth parliament, they intend to go on, on independent or go independent. And so you can't count it but if but So you can't count it as part of this parliament. That, that argument, and I had senior lawyers making it, people who are far advanced in law than me, saying it. And I find that very, very laughable and incongruous. Because then what will be the use of Article 97? It will, it will be of no use. Then we just have to expunge it. Because, like the speaker said, if it's going to be futuristic, you would have by then aligned. You would have by then aligned. And so there wouldn't be a breach of this. So they should, they should, they should reverse their thinking and understand that this ruling was made so as to protect the sanctity of parliament. The next thing is that what can, and uh, the former minority leader mentioned it, yeah. what can we do with our majority? He has mentioned certain things. I also think that we should repeal, and we can do it, because the, the new standing orders allow for private members' bill. And this private members' bill can be used to repeal the, 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 the tax, the betting tax, eh? because we've already promised it. And then also repeal the e-levy. That, for me, will be satisfactory to a good people of this country. Because people are laboring under huge, huge taxes to the extent that people cannot import goods. I wanted to buy four doors for my car because the doors of my car were rusted. I had to go to Nigeria. Because here, even if you get it, the price was too much. And so, for me, we need to reduce the tax burden with this few days that we have become majority. But Afenio Markin is behaving like he has a birthright to become the majority leader. That is not his birthright. He must be told now, that how, these how, things... How do you say that? But look at the way he was behaving yesterday. See how he even preempted the speaker's uh, uh, ruling. So he, in effect, in effect, Afenio Markin knew what was right. He knew the outcome of Mr. Speaker's ruling. He knew. He knew. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't have gone to court. And it was a wrong procedure by filing an injunction to stay the hands of Parliament. We are running what is called separation of powers. No one organ can interfere in the work of the other uh, 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 organs' uh, work. But we've also seen uh, situations where the speaker has said that because the case is in court, I'm not touching it. And a clear example is the LGBTQ one. Which one? The LGBTQ was passed. What we are saying is that uh, 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 court, the court cannot stop parliament from working on the floor of parliament. That's what I'm talking about. You can't stop it. Just as how parliament you cannot pass laws to undo what the judiciary has done. So if, 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 if judiciary sentenced somebody to five years, parliament cannot pass a law to reduce it by three years. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. 
So, whilst they are doing their constitutional work, none of the organs can interfere. And yet, you want to file an injunction. To do what? To do what? To stop parliament from working. And you are the majority leader. Then, as I said yesterday, you must be promoting the integrity and the, the supremacy of parliament. And you have gone to do this. Because he felt this time the speaker was And I'm wrong. saying that it is wrong procedure. Mm. No, his feelings, I don't care. He can be hemorrhaging. 